here we have the parts for my next project my little Hobby King 250 frame thing using the DYS 2300 kilovolt motor 1806 KK 2.1 hard case not sure how that's going to go in the recessed way we'll figure something out Afro 12 amp ESCs. These hopefully are the modified ones with the, the 5 volt. And a Zippy 1300 LiPo. Some cheap props to test with. I've got some good triple gem fans to put on when that's ready. Make a start. Hmm, as suspected. The hard case doesn't actually fit down into the recess. So hang on, I'll just get a quick shake. There we go. I'll use this one instead. So the DSY motors, 1806, I reckon they're probably a bit small, I don't know. We'll see when we fly it, I guess. But they only come with these little self-tapper screws that only just sort of fit on the frame. Very small thread. It's the size of thread, so. And the other two screws don't quite match up, so. Not ideal. Not an ideal motor for this frame. One thing just occurred to me too is make sure you put your strap in for your controller. It's a nice little spot there to feed it through, but if you don't do it for your controller, of course, you can't get at it. So, yeah. So what I'm doing with my ESCs is taking the actual ESC wires off, and then I'll attach the motors directly to them. There's just not enough room on this quad, otherwise this is going to be spools of this wire and this wire all over the place. Should be a neat finish. One down. Motors into the ESC. Three to go. Also put the KK2 on. Basically I just drilled some holes into the bottom plate just a bit smaller than the actual screw and they just basically used the base plate as a, a nut to hold that down. It seemed to work quite well. After blowing up my NASA with an s -Bec, I'm sure these ones will be fine but I'm now cutting the red wire on all but motor one never had an issue with it on the KK2s with the Afros before, but anyway, gonna keep doing it. There we go. Four ESCs, four motors. Don't need to take shape. So I'm just going to do a wiring loom. Just solder it all up. Plus the voltage sensor from the KK2. And we're going back to the next two connector. So here it is. I've basically cabled, I've just drilled a couple little holes through here for the top cover to cable tie it on. We can work on that later. A bit of standoffs and I'm not sure, but we'll work on that. But the the 9X receiver is just sitting on top, pressed down by those cable ties. No, I don't know, it hangs together pretty well, the KK2 is under there somewhere. So, I'll need to get it dialed in, once it's dialed in, the setup will be fine, but I'll have to cut the cable ties to do any changes, so hopefully it's dialed in with my guest configuration. But. Uh, Got the 9x receiver. Stick 
looking at there, I'll put a cable tie on the end here to finish it. Motors, props, battery, that's the loom, the end of the, the cabling loom, I just brought the front motors through, a bit of an extension there, with the adapters that were on it, back into the, soldered in the loom there, added in the, um, the, the 5 volt from the KK, sorry, the, the battery voltage from the KK2, which goes to the battery sensor there, so it'll beep when batteries get low. Set it at, it's a 3S battery, so I've set it at about 10.6. Gives you enough time to get it back down. And that's basically it. See how she flies. So I tried these props, which you saw on it just before. And this, the whole centre, I don't know, the drill doesn't seem to be very centred. And when I tried them, I held the, held the quad and fired them up. And they were so unbalanced, it was appalling. So anyway, I've got my gem fan triples. I'll put them on and see how they feel. Okay, so that's pretty funny. The gem fans that I bought, they sent me four clockwise orange and four anti-clockwise black. So it's going to be a very nicely multicolored copter. Not necessarily very practical, but hey, you know, get what you get. Okay, so these gem fans work beautifully. Just took it outside quickly and well, it's a bit, a bit dark out there. Can't see anything out there. But anyway, I, under the lights of the uh, spotlights just outside. Took this up in the air a little bit. It flew beautifully. So uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we can get a bit of a video. But these uh, super cheap plastic props, 5030s from Hobby King, forget it. Don't even bother, they're so out of balance. Like, the hole isn't even centered. So if you look at that, the hole's so far off centered, they're so unbalanced, that they are absolutely worthless. Well, actually, I paid about a dollar for them, so. But they're not even worth a dollar, so. Stick with the gem fans. The gem fans, the inserts. The gem fans have got a uh, really nice little kit goes with it. My motor's the middle one's the one I used. But no, I was holding it with the little one, with those other those those crap ones, and it vibrated so much that these brackets actually fell out. Whereas when I fired it up with the gem fans, you hardly even felt it, so don't bother. Gem fan. Gem fan, I can't say it too many times. Stick with the gem fans. Anyway. Hopefully we'll have some flying vids shortly. Thanks for watching.